Hi guys, this is Shariq and welcome to Globechat with Arabic. This is the Lebanese Arabic lesson and when I say Lebanese, it's the Levantine dialect which is spoken in Lebanon, Syria, Jordan and Palestine. So today we're going to do two expressions related to taking risks or avoiding risks. So I was speaking to my friend and he told me what lesson are you going to do? I said I don't know. So he gave me these two ideas. So I'm going to say thank you to him. And also yesterday, I said that I'm going to try to upload one lesson every day with you guys on for 30 days. So we can do a 30 day challenge together on YouTube uh, while I'm doing a 30 day challenge with my students on Zoom. So yeah, today is day two. Let's begin. The first expression we're going to do today is very, very common in Lebanon. And we uh, and probably they use it in other Arabic countries too. But in the Lebanese accent, we pronounce it in this way. We say, بعود عن الشر وغنيله. I'm going to say it slowly. Say it with me. بعود عن الشر وغنيله. I'll break it down. بعود is a verb in the imperative form. And it means go far. Literally, go far. It comes from the word بعيد. بعيد means far. And بعود means go far. بعود عن عن usually means about or from. But in this context, it means from. So بعود عن go far from. But you don't mean to say go far from. We are we're saying here like stay away from. Okay? بعود عن الشر شر means evilness. ال with the ال شر means the evilness. So you basically say go far from the evilness. Literally. Which means stay away from evilness. But notice I'm not pronouncing it بعود عن ال شر and then that's it. No. I'm always using the liaison to pronounce. And I'm saying بعود عن الشر with the liaison عن الشر. Like the L in Il Shar is not pronounced because Shar starts with the letter Sheen and Sheen is a sun letter. So all the words in Arabic that starts with the, the letter Sheen, when you put L before that, that L, you're not going to pronounce it. You're just going to say Ba'ud an Shar. If you say Ba'ud an Il Shar, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. But of course, it's nicer and cleaner and more correct to say Ba'ud an Shar. Ba'ud an Shar is stay away from evilness. وغنيلو. Now, غني again is another imperative verb and it means sing, literally sing. If I'm going to ask a guy to sing, I say غني. غني لو, the لو in the end means him, sing for him. Why am I saying sing for him? Because we're referring to the word شر and شر is a masculine word and in Arabic we don't have it to refer to objects or abstract ideas, we use him or her. So that's why when I say I mean to say sing for the evilness or evilness. So you're literally saying go far, go far from evilness, from the evilness and sing for him. What do I mean by this and when do we say this expression? So we use this expression to say that, you know what? Stay away from trouble, don't interfere and don't il involve yourself in, into problems. Stay away from them and you know, wish well to, to them and uh, for them. And uh, yeah, let them be, let whatever is going to happen, happen. But you know, you stay far from it. So for example, if a big problem happens and somebody tells you about it and you start feeling like, oh no, you want to interfere and maybe you want, you're going to help the person or something like that. But then doing that might put you yourself in trouble. Somebody who cares about you might say, you know what? بعود عن الشر وغنيله. Stay away from evilness and sing for it. You know, like, you know, let it be, wish well for them, but like, but don't get involved, okay? Um, even for example, I don't know, maybe your ex-boyfriend wants to get back with you and uh, you know you had a very, very horrible time with him or something like that. And uh, you're, tempted, you're tempted to get involved. And then maybe one of your friends tells you, you know, بعود عن الشر وغنيله. Like, stay away from evilness. Don't put yourself into trouble again. But like, you know, wish well. Wish them well, basically. Okay? So that's بعود عن الشر وغنيله. It's a fixed expression. It doesn't matter if you're saying it to a guy, to a woman, to a girl. It's fixed. It's بعود. You use it in the masculine form. بعود عن الشر وغنيله. The second expression we use to say, you know, stay away from risks and you know stay safe and don't get into trouble is the expression meet kilmit jabain wala kilmit allah yirham i'm gonna say it slowly say it with me meet you can also say by the way elf instead of meet meet me means uh, 100 and elf means 1000 so meet kilmit jabain yalla say with me wala kilmit 
Allah yirhamu. Yeah, I'll try to break this down. So I'm gonna break it down from the back to the to the to the to start, so from the end to the beginning. Okay. So the expression Allah yirhamu is translated into English as rest in peace. Why? Because when somebody dies, you go and you you know you go you say to their family Allah yirhamu. You're literally saying may God mercy him. Yirham is to have mercy. Yirhamu is mercy him or to have mercy on him Allah yirhamu may God have mercy on him which means may he rest in peace so that's how you say rest in peace in Arabic you say Allah yirhamu okay now the word jabin means a coward someone who's not courageous and like who's always scared and you know it's not the best uh, best characteristic to have or it's not the best way to be described so when you say jabin about someone, it's like, you know, he's, he doesn't have, you know, the courage to do the stuff, okay? So, <laughs> I'm not going to use bad words, so I'm just using the word courage to, have, to do stuff. So, uh, so remember, jabin means the person who's, all, who's always scared, and Allah yirhamu means may he rest in peace. So, how do we put these two together? We're going to say, meet, kilmit jabin. Meet kilme means 100 words. Meet kilme. So the word miye on its own, we pronounce it miye. We don't say meet, but here we're pronouncing it meet because it's followed by the word kilme. And kilme also means a word. So meet kilme. So because it's followed by a noun, we have to pronounce the tema arbuta. Meet kilmet jabin. You're literally saying 100 words of what's the word? The word coward. Coward. So basically, you're saying, let them say 100 times that I'm a coward. I don't care. Okay? That's what you mean to say. So, meet kilmit jabin, 100 words of a coward. Wala and not. Wala kilmit Allah yirhamu. And not the word Allah yirhamu. Rest in peace. So, let them say 100 times that I'm a coward. I don't care. But I don't want them to say about me, basically. Rest in peace. What does that mean? It means, I don't care if people make fun of me that I, oh, I don't take risks and I'm not courageous enough and, you know, uh, I'm, a, uh, I'm a coward. I don't care if they say that. I prefer to stay safe and do whatever I have to do and not get into trouble than, you know, uh, dying and taking risks. Not necessarily dying, but, you know, putting myself into trouble. So this is like... Mm, usually my dad loves this expression by the way because he doesn't like to take risks and put us you know into danger so he uses it a lot you know it's a wise way of you know giving advice and you know doing things you know he just says you have to do whatever you do and don't you shouldn't care about what people think about you and you shouldn't take the risk just because you're embarrassed no you should do what's right to protect yourself that's what it means so me kill me Jabin, 100 times coward. Wala kilmit Allah yirhamu. And not even once Allah yirhamu, which means rest in peace. So, for example, if you're young and you want to drive your car really fast because you want to, you know, look cool in front of your friends and you don't want them to say, oh, uh, you, you drive really slow, you're such a coward. And, you know, so, you know, and your dad might say to you, you know what? No, meet kilmit Jabin. Or Alf Kilmit Jabin, Wala Kilmit Allah Yerhamu. Who cares? Let them say whatever you want. You just drive safe and don't let their words affect you, basically, because maybe it's they say 100 times that you're a coward, it's okay, but if you die, they're gonna say it once. Rest in peace. You know what I mean? Anyways, so uh, today's three expressions are to summarize, stay away from evilness and sing for it, and meet Kilmit Jabin. ولا كلمة الله يرحمه. You can also say ألف one thousand times. ألف كلمة جبان ولا كلمة الله يرحمه. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment box so I can answer them as soon as I can. See you tomorrow. Bye.